Hello and welcome to the world of Pisces. Pisces, I hope that you all are radiating positive energy at this time. Let's hop into it, Pisces. Get a high vibe affirmation for you on your soul's journey. Let's see what high vibrational activity is needed for Pisces at this time. What is that high vibrational activity for Pisces? Okay. And you have a happy dance. Happy dance. Dance around the room with or without music. Feel joy and happiness and shake your hips. Raise your hands in the air and sway. Be excited about life and the opportunities that are coming your way. It does not have to be fancy. It just has to feel good. So dance your way, baby. Circulate that energy. Get that heart pumping, you know, and start thriving, you know. Just be happy, okay? So, yes, Pisces, that's the high vibrational activity, okay? So, Pisces, let's hop into it. Let's collect the energy of your person. Let's see how they're feeling about you when it comes to love, romance, and relationships. What is their energy for you, Pisces? How they feeling? How they view you? What are the challenges that you all may be faced with? You know, whatever comes up about you and this person. Put them on your mind. Know that the roles can be reversed and energies can be exchanged. Okay, sometimes I say he, she, me, y'all, us, them, they, you know. Okay, we got the Page of Cups showing up. This is somebody who's thinking about expressing their feelings, okay? This is somebody who intuitively knows that they need to make you an offer. Because I see, I see it. I see someone wanting to make Pisces an offer. Okay, so this is someone who knows they need to come forth with their truth. This is a flirty energy, a happy energy, okay, a messenger, okay? But the person ain't focused on that. They not focused on telling you how they feel. This Eight of Pentacles back is turned to that Page of Cups. This person intuitively knows that they have something for you, that they may want to offer you something, but they're not... I'm 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 they're not I'm not feeling them or seeing them in the illustration being highly focused on telling you what they feel but they know they need to okay the emperor yeah this person is stubborn okay they're very stubborn okay they may be focused on their career here you know their financial status their status in life you know their overall well-being I see this person being highly focused on having some form of control over their life they they trying to master themselves here strong aries energy be a master of self okay eight of cups okay but they're not happy in that energy they're not happy with basically focusing on finances or focusing on you know how it is nowadays everybody can cannot even sit with themselves for a minute because we got to go to work I got to cook dinner. I got appointments. I got to hit the grocery store. I have to do laundry. All these things you got to do that's outside of you. And that's all this person seems to have time to really focus on. They they got they love you. They care for you. They got feelings for you. Intuitively, they feel there's a strong connection here. Okay, this person may be very sensitive at this moment, but they're focused on leadership. They're focused on structure. They they may keep you out of that loop, you know, out of their struggle loop. Okay, because I feel like this person is unhappy with just having to always you know, lead and be in control. I don't feel like that makes them feel good here. The devil crossing the energy, okay? But they have a strong attachment to their job, okay? They have a strong attachment to... the. They're the head of the household. If they don't do it, it don't get done. So this is something that they have to do, that they're tied to. They may not like it. They don't like it. They're unhappy. They want to be in a more fulfilling space, which would bring them right back to this page. You know, maybe if they can make that offer to you, you never know. It may change something in the cosmos. But with the devil energy as well, I do see them being attached to you. Okay, they may not be expressing what they feeling, but they definitely feeling. Okay, so don't think for one minute that this person, um, when they can't 
make time for you or if they don't call you or text you or talk to you for a day or two a week, don't think that it's somebody else. They definitely obsessed with you. It's just they have a priority that's above you and that's their livelihood. And that's just the reality of some people's stories. Now, like I said, keep in mind, if this emperor was to step into this childlike energy, step into themselves, okay? Instead of always focus on the physical, the tangible, the, you know, the responsibility. If they can get in tune with themselves, they are highly most likely to at least express what they feel for, for you and then see where it goes from there. But their top priority is sustaining their livelihood, taking care of that house, making sure they got a car, making sure that they can provide for themselves. It isn't something that makes them happy. But right now, the reality of everybody's life is something that got be done. That got to be done. You know, our bills don't get paid off of love. We don't eat off of love. You know what I'm saying? So it's shit that got to be done. Devil energy, highly obsessed, highly attached, not only to that, but to you. And it's just that they don't tell you these things and they may not even show it. Okay. But they are unhappy with the way that their life is going. The direction is headed in because it's like, I'm the emperor. I should be able to take the leadership role over my love life. But you know, they, they're not doing that in their love life section. Okay. So let's talk to the emperor first. Let's see what's going on with it. You know, why are you being so stubborn? Okay, the sun in reverse. Okay, well, let's just read the reversals, okay? They're not happy. They, they, this is somebody who could have everything tangible that they need. They could have the house. They could have the car. They could have more than enough than, you know, to, to sustain them for a little while. But it, they may have an obsession with, you know, I got to keep it coming though. I can't just get to a place and get comfortable, Right. I have to keep making it. I have to keep going. So that could be an obsession of, uh, of, of or fear of failure. But this emperor is just simply not happy. They don't feel like they have a complete success. And that's because truly and honestly, they're not living in their truth. They're not living in their emotional truth. I'll say that because this emperor is not happy because they don't have that empress. They don't have that that balance. You know what I'm saying? They need that balance. But they so focused on, you know, sustaining their livelihood. And that brings them sadness, okay? With the page of wands. Don't give up on this person yet. You know what I'm saying? They may come around. They may be praying, meditating, looking for a fresh start, something clean, something fresh, a new way of life, Okay? I feel like this person is going to get creative. I mean, we are talking about an emperor. Okay. Sometimes the emperor can lose his way. You just will never know. But that's why you got me. I'm telling you. Okay. This person is not balanced. They're not 100, even though they appear to be. Okay. In the love department, they just stagnant. Okay. But with this page of wands, I see them wanting that fresh. I see them praying or meditating or looking to the gods or, you know, really going to go within themselves and really feel that passion and desire that they have for you. Okay. This page of wands is looking to this eight of cups because yes, I may be unhappy right now because I'm not allowing everything to flow in abundantly. I'm controlling. I control what I do. I'm set in stone. I have um, traditional. I've been doing it this way for years. So I feel like your emperor will be open to change. Okay. Once they find a little bit more balance within themselves. Okay. <clears throat> Let's talk to the page of cups. Let's talk to their feelings here. What is this person feeling for Pisces? Okay. Six of wands. Okay, they recognize that you are the one with the most potential. You are the one that they have the most love for as far as if they out here dealing with somebody else or got somebody in their energy. I don't know that yet. It's not coming up. It's not registering. I don't feel that. But you are like one of the most important things in their life when it comes to their feelings. OK, they feel good with they when they with you, they feel secure. They feel like a damn star. The six of wands, they just feel really good, really proud, you know, just overall happy. 
when they're with you. When 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 they in your emotion and you in theirs, it's a big victory for them. Justice in reverse. Okay, this could be a karmic relationship. The situation isn't balanced because your emperor is not speaking on their feelings. Okay, this justice is in reverse. It's them not being fair to you, to themselves, to the divine. Because obviously y'all came together for some form of reason, right? And the truth is not being spoken. So the situation isn't balanced. So your emperor just really needs to come forth and, and, and be more open and not so guarded with what they feel for you. They see success here. They feel like this is it. This is where my heart belongs. This is a victory. They recognize that you hold a special place in their heart. But this could be a karmic uh, debt for them, right? It could be a karmic debt for them or it could be a karmic debt for you. But the situation is not balanced because nobody's speaking on the true feelings. This situation needs to be healed. It's to start crossing it. This has so much potential to blow up and glow up and be everything that you ever wanted. If you all just don't give up hope on each other, try to understand each other, come into alignment with each other, support each other, make each other feel safe enough to open up and be expressive. You know, so eight of pentacles. Okay, seven of cups in reverse. Okay, so this person definitely isn't focused on um, emotion. They're, they they definitely not trying to confuse the situation. They don't have any other options. Okay, they're strictly focused on their uh, supply and demand in life. That's their main priority. Their main focus It's not emotion. It's not juggling a lot of men or women. It's not confusing people or leading them to believe something that's simply not true. Okay. This may be somebody who, who cares about you, but not ready for that traditional type of love yet. This is somebody who could just solely be focused on their success. Okay. But if, and when, if this person ever, ever taps into themselves, they're going to definitely have success with you. They will be able to turn justice around and balance this out. But this is like, I don't feel you chasing them either. I feel like you letting it be what it is. I don't know. It's kind of a mature type of thing going on, but immature when it comes to vocally speaking it. So I'm seeing your emperor not involved in emotion, okay? It's not that they don't have them. They just not operating from them. They're not, they don't have a lot of people in their energy. They don't have other men or women. They, you know, they just deal with you pretty much. Six of cups. Hmm. This, po this person focuses on their past a lot, okay? What does this Six of Cups mean for a Pisces person? What do they focus on from the past? How much of pressure love can take you through, put you under? You know, love is a big burden for this person. It's like a whole nother responsibility, a whole nother thing you know and they they've experienced this before and i'm sure they are and because they're the emperor so they're operating out of place of what they know to be true about love okay that's why they may have to get a little bit inspired somehow you know what i'm saying to to turn that sun card around this person is unhappy when they fall in love that's what i'm getting Whenever they let that boundary down, they let that guard down and they deal with someone who is not that empress, they may fall into a depression or they may feel like the relationship is just too heavy. So it seems like every relationship this person has had in the past has been a burden. So they're guarded when it comes to expressing their feelings, okay, because they they haven't broke this karmic relationship cycle that they have over them the moment it's like when they see success 
they back off. They turn their emotions off. Okay? But when they with you, they feel it. Intuitively, they feel it. They may still not express it, but they know that this is real with that six of cups. They know that what they feel for you is real. Okay? Will of fortune crossing the energy. Okay? And this speaks of change. Okay? Something around this may change for the better. It just all depends on how you all interact with each other, how comfortable you are with each other, with opening up and, and allowing space, allowing communication to flow. Getting over that part of just not being vocal about your true emotion. Because I don't feel like this person trying to mislead you. I don't feel like they stringing you along. I don't feel like they got a lot of people. I just feel like you're the only one they deal with. But because of their past experiences with relationships, they've just learned to, to... They may have went into working really hard to distract them from falling in love. That could be a thing too. But I really just see them like, you know, from their past experiences... They just think that it's best not to open up too fast and express that feeling. But they got definitely an attachment here to you, an obsession. It's just a secret. But overall, your person is unhappy with their life and the way it's going. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Hmm. It's interesting for an emperor. This person... Don't want to rush into their happiness. They don't want to rush into fulfillment because they're doubting it. They didn't plan on catching no type of feeling with the Knight of Pentacles being in reverse. I don't think it was something that was planned. I think it was just something. I think right now for them, it's something that they trying to figure out. Intuitively, they know. That there's something there that I I care about Pisces. Yes, there is a connection. There is an attraction. You know, and I can see myself having some form of victory. I recognize the emotion when I'm with Pisces. But because of my karmic relationships of the past are such a burden for me. Right? I can't find joy in opening up. But if I were to tap in, meditate on it, listen to my intuition, you know, kind of put that focus inward, then I think something could come about this. But I don't think this person ever planned on catching any form of feelings for you. It wasn't part of the plan. It was something that just kind of happened. And now that they feel it intuitively, they don't. it's like uh, they fail fast. They fail fast, okay? They fail fast, but and they wasn't expecting that. Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> but they they want to move towards something secure. Okay, like I said, they want that empress. This Ten of Pentacles is good in a love reading. It lets me know that your person is capable of committing. They are capable of being loyal. They are a loyal person. I don't feel the energy of nobody. I don't see any options. I don't see them being confused. I just see them not saying nothing. I see them going through all type of motions and they focus their life on their priority, their job, their career, their passion, you know, not love because of their past karmic relationships. So, but I do see and see with this Ten of Pentacles, to the Eight of Cups, they do want to move towards something stable. They want someone that they can enjoy. They want somebody that they're relaxed and comfortable with, that they also feel safe with, that they also feel secure with, that will also provide loyalty and stability for them as well. See, this person been played so many times that they don't even trust themselves to love no more. I think that's what's going on here. You know, and it's sad, okay? Four of swords crossing their energy. They need to heal. They need to take some time and go in. Your person needs to go in. Your person living outside of themselves. They need to go inward and experience what they're feeling and sit with it. You know what I'm saying? 
and, and, and know that it's a real thing and not just, you know, I don't think that they're able to really block what what's meant for them won't miss them or you either. Okay. If this person could go inward, there could be a, a overall fulfillment. That's what they really want, but they have to heal. They have to go inside. They can't get what they want outside of themselves, but the tangible things that they have. They need to put their energy inward, inward, and and come up out of like get find some stability, some inner stability. Folk, this person needs to focus their energy on their inner stability, okay, instead of their outer things. So that's the energy, Pisces. I hope it made sense, okay? I tried my best to explain it. Let's get a message of love from the universe for this situation. Let's see, what do you all need for this situation when it comes to love and relationships? Satisfaction. You let the energy of love guide you to self-approval so that others no longer define who you are. Okay, this person, for your person, I feel like this satisfaction card is for your person, but it could be for you, take it how it resonates. And that's them karmic relationships from the past. This person is still letting them control. Okay, so if you let the energy of love guide you to self-approval, if you can approve of yourself, if you can go inward, if you can get grounded and stable with yourself, if you can put that energy into yourself, then you can open up to a true love that may right that may be right in front of you. And that could be you, Pisces, or your person. Okay? So that others no longer have to define you, right? So these karmic relationships don't have to define you. You don't have to be looking back like, you know, Pisces going to do to me exactly what they did to me. And I think that show person's MO about relationships. So they guard it. And they focus more on their priorities and responsibilities that take their mind off of love. It's not that they're not capable of loving. It's just I think they may love hard and genuine and they need that empress. But I didn't see her show up. Okay. So that's the energy. Let's get a word from the chakra wisdom to promote positivity. To see what chakra needs to be worked on. Or to simply get an inspirational quote that we can say to ourselves each and every day. All right. Pisces, you have the sixth chakra and it's the third eye chakra. And this one is relevant to acknowledge spirit. Okay. <laughs> acknowledge spirit. I trust in a higher source and I acknowledge my direct connection with it. In the stillness, I listen for the wisdom inside and I am open to the spirituality that is within and all around me. I know love is the creative force. I meditate and um, welcome mystical truths. I am open to seeking guidance in my spiritual quest from a spiritual teacher, master, or guru. It's beautiful. Acknowledge spirit is the positive of energy. If you're new to my channel and you like this video, go ahead, hit that like or subscribe button. For those of you who are returning, thank you for your continued support. And remember that your comments are always welcome. This is all I have, Pisces. As always, be safe, be blessed, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.